What's up everybody, Local Fisherman here. We're back again with another video for the Nissan Frontier. This is gonna be mod number four. Uh, this one's gonna be fairly easy and cheap, by the way. So what we have here are some auto vent shades, in-channel uh, rain guards is what I call them, but they're actually just window vents, you know. Uh, you can see here, the front and rear. So on the Nissan trucks, they got a little funny window in the back, so looks kind of small. I was kind of like, eh, but it works. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these things put on and we'll go from there. All right, so before we get too far ahead of ourselves here, we need to open the package. Today I'm gonna use my Rambo knife. I found this in my closet. I have no idea where it came from, but it's shiny and it's sharp. And I believe if you open up the handle, you got some matches, some fishing line, and a uh, fishing hook. So pretty cool. Oh, and there's a compass so you don't get lost. So uh, anyways, let's get this box open. Got it. Rambo knife. You know what I'm saying. Rambo knife. Okay, so now that I have my knife fix, let's get started on installing these guys. There are front and rear, driver side, passenger side. Big ones go on the front. Little ones go on the rear. There's double-sided tape along the edges. The instructions say you have to clean and prep the inside molding of your door. So they come with a little Scotch-Brite pad and some alcohol pads. So what you gotta do, you go in the inner edge of the door seal. We're talking about the rubber, okay? Clean that off real good with the Scotch-Brite. Hit it with the prep pad. Let it dry for a second. And then what you have to do is you peel off this end and then this end, and you're gonna peel the top section of just a few inches. So once you get it shoved up into the channel, you can peel off the rest of it, and then you close your window on it, and you gotta leave it there over overnight, at least 24 hours, okay? So you can't roll your window down for a while, so you wanna make sure this stuff has a good uh, grasp on that rubber on the inside. You don't want them flying off. Now there are other options out there if you don't want the one that sits in the channel to have some that sit on the outside of the truck on the paint. Uh, I don't like that and I plus I think these are a little bit more low profile aerodynamic. So um, let's go ahead and get a video started here. We'll show you guys how to install the driver door and the rear driver door and then the other sides will be the exact same. All right, so before we get this thing on there, we peel the tape off. You want to dry fit this thing to make sure it fits. So it's just going to sit in there. Just, takes a little finesse. just like that. Okay. So that's what it's going to look like when it's installed. So when you roll up your window, it's going to fit on the inside of that channel. So now that we know it fits, we got the right door. Get your scotch Brite pad. Go on the inside of this rubber. Just to make sure. Okay. Get your pad. Give it a good wipe. You want to wipe? inside edge or outside edge I should say you don't need to really worry about the other side because the tape doesn't come in contact with that you want to clean where the tape touches Flip it over and hit it one more time okay now peel this one off Things never want to peel off easy for some reason. OK. 
Okay, peel that one off. Make sure you get the extra bit. You don't want anything else on there. And then now this large section. Give it about three inches on each end. Bam, just like that. And we're gonna put it in. Start with the front first. Get it in there. See what I mean? You wanna make sure there's enough on there to, to tag so you can pull that off. Okay? Just wanna make sure it's up and out. Just rub your fingers around there, get that tape seated. Now you need to get in the truck, roll your window up. And when you're doing this, pay attention right here because you want to make sure that plastic doesn't get stuck or hit the glass. Okay? So now that's in. It's not going anywhere. Leave your window up for 24 hours and then you're good. Now we'll do the back side. Okay, so thanks to the beauty of video editing uh, and Thank you to the rogue wind that decided to blow away my scotch bright. I had to improvise with a scotch pad for my kitchen sink. So, uh, eh, it's rough enough, I think. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is just uh, cannibalize this a little bit. Yeah, fold it over. Scotch bright. So, on this one, here this part just gonna ride inside that rubber channel just like so so we're gonna go ahead and give it a good scratch can't believe the wind did me like that blew away that little tiny piece no idea where it went it's gone but it's all good now Oh, come on, wind. Now we need the alcohol pad. Open that up. Give it a give it a good wiping. Flip it around. Wipe it again. Give it a second to dry. While we're waiting on that, go ahead and peel off your uh, double-sided tape. go Ooh, this one's fighting me I think we got that good right there so get this in sticky side first they say put it where it needs to be Pull the red stuff off. Get it on there. Roll through window. There we go. Done. All right, y'all. Here's the final product. I'm sure y'all seen it on vehicles before. They don't stick out very far. That's what I like about them. It doesn't look crazy. You know what I mean? It's just on there. Now you can roll your windows down if it's raining. If you just want some fresh air without rolling your window all the way down. Uh, in my case, I don't drive my truck too often. I have a work truck, so uh, I can just crack my windows during the day to help keep the inside of the truck cool. And don't have to worry about if it does rain, as in, you know, water won't get in there. So it's awesome. Passenger side, same result. I think it came out good. All right, y'all. That's it for this video. Like I said, this one was pretty easy. Not too hard at all. 
I'm fairly happy with the results for under 40 bucks on Amazon. These things are nice. So like always, I'll put a description uh, with the product information, link to buy it. Uh, this time around, uh, you guys know that I do take prayer requests. So I'm going to throw my email in the description as long as YouTube lets me do that. I don't know. And uh, if you guys have any prayer requests, anything like that at all, shoot me an email. We can get in contact. Me and some friends of mine will love to pray with you, pray for you for anything at all. And uh, that's it for my video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm looking to uh, try to get more people on here so I can show you all what I'm doing with my Nissan pickup. Uh, last but not least, my buddy Luke. He's a little crazy today. Say hi, Luke. Yeah, so he likes to play. He likes to wrestle. Yeah, he got the ball. I think he has the Scotch Bright. He took the Scotch Bright somewhere. I'm pretty sure he took my Scotch Bright, didn't you, dog? Yeah, he's got my Scotch Bright. Anyway, y'all have a good afternoon. God bless you guys. Y'all have a good day. Peace.